Hey you guys. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick and dirty breakdown of how to do uh, the lighting or at least baking in Unity and VR Chat. A lot of the tutorials out there are really convoluted and they kind of don't boil it down to the brass tacks. And at the same time, the way I do it may not be the way that you do it and everything is subject to a people's opinions. But this is how I handle the situation thus far. So right now in front of me, I have a... Uh, a demo which is basically a, a room with a sun in this in the ceiling so if we want to start lighting this room up with some baked lighting we don't have to delete the sun but I'm gonna delete the sun that way you can kind of see what it looks like with no lights okay so here we have a world that's pitch black we deleted the sun and now we have a pitch black world so what we can do is we can click on the hierarchy we add a light and for the sake of fun let's add a spotlight okay so now we have a spotlight in our project and our spotlight is very dim and, and not very uh, receptive right now. But if you can clearly see, in fact, let's intense, let's put the intensity at 10 so we can make kind of an example of it. So we have our light in here, but that that's uh, just to start. Now we need to bake these things. So a lot of people, what they do is they get into the lighting section and they find out that if they click generate lighting and it's going to prepare the bake and write the bake, and then once it's done baking, it looks like trash. And the reason behind that is if you go into the world and everything's dark, it's because these materials here are not receiving light. They've not been asked to receive light, and it's probably the biggest headache that I had to overcome understanding this. So what you need to do is you need to select all your faces that you have for walls or ceilings or floors or any object that needs to receive light. And you need to go into the lighting, which is over here, and you need to say contribute to global illumination and make sure it's selected to light maps. That's the first thing. And the reason we do that is because we're teaching the baking system that these panels are allowed to receive light and to see that they are that way. So what I'm going to do is just for the sake of uh, understanding example, I'm going to unselect this particular wall. So we have three walls that are and, three, and one wall that is not. So now if I go down from shaded to baked light map, you will find that one of them is not enabled to receive it. See that? That one's not receiving light whatsoever. And that, 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 that's exactly what's going on here. So now we have our world that says, all right, lighting will be received in these faces. So we'll go back up to shaded and we'll realize that this one is not checked. So we enable the contribute to global illumination. And then we go back into bake light map and we can find out that all four walls now are receiving lighting information. However, there's nothing here to be baked. We need to add a few more things. So we need to go back into our shaded area and then we go into adding of the hierarchy we go into lighting and we add a reflection probe so now we add a reflection probe in here and i always like zeroing these out zero 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 then we'll put the reflection probe in the world and it what I like to do, and everyone can bake these, and everyone has their own opinion, but this is what I like to do. Okay. I like to go in and modify my baking, my reflection probe. So my reflection probe is relatively inside the room. And then I go from baked to real time. See that? See what happens? You now see the four walls inside that bake. Now, this isn't real time always. This is on awake. It's going to take a, a snapshot. But that's that's how you get your initial reflections. And honestly, there's many ways to do it. Real time is my favorite because it handles uh, the uh, reflections a lot faster. And I like things being quick. I'm sure the comments will blow up telling me I'm wrong. That's totally okay. You guys can do that. Maybe I'll learn something in the process. So. That's the first step. So now we have our, our, our map. Now we need to go into another one, go into lighting and go into light probe group. And light probe group, let's zero this out as well. So we'll bring it to the middle of the map so we can bring it into the room. Uh, from what I understand, and I might be completely off base, these are allowing you to kind of like be eyeballs between each other, to see shadows between each other. So you can get let's say um we'll edit this light probe group and you can see the shadows between each other 
There we are. So we're going to edit the probe group. And if you click on these probes, you can drag them about. And I like putting these ones kind of all over the place in the room. You can add more if you need to. But these are, from what I understand, they're eyes to see each other. And they're good for baking shadows. So you put these. And if you need another one, you can add another probe and put it around the room, however you need to see it, wherever it needs to go. And I'll just delete that one because we don't need it right now. But that's basically that. That's the other portion of it. So now that we have that in there, we can then stop editing our probes. We'll add a few more lights into the equation. So there's a shadowy light there. A shadowy light there. One over here. And one over here. And we can get really crazy and busy with it all. All right, so now we have our four lights. Now it comes time to baking it. So we're going to go into our baking overlay. And we're going to bake it. It's really that easy. Generate lighting. Preparing the bake. Now it's going to bake. And it's going to start doing its magic. Now, for this being as simple as it is, it should be relatively fast. And now, if I go into... Baked light maps. Oh, that's why. Our lights aren't baking because these lights are real time lights. I'm sorry, I, I took a moment of stupidity, but there you go. Uh, it, it, they'll, you get that a lot. Like, what, what, what's going on? Why isn't it doing what it's supposed to do? All right, let's do this again. We'll bring this in, and we'll bake it. Yeah, because it's only four lights, it should be really quick. Fifty seconds left. You're gonna see me lag a little bit because the computer is fully consumed. Which is good. Which is good because what's happening right now is it's calculating what's going on in the world and just below where I'm at inside it, there's there's a progress bar kinda of down below, about about right here where I'm looking. So it's gonna tell you how much time you have left for your render. And then it takes the real-time probe reflection. Now it's saving it to light map and poof. So now the world's good and everything's right as rain. So if we go into baked light map, ta-da, there's our baked light. And now you're done. It's it's that simple and it's uh, that easy. Just as long as you have those three core elements inside of baking, you basically understand the principle of it. And this has been the dirtiest tutorial on the planet. Have a great night, guys.